Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by oil and gas developer Empire Energy, ASX code EEG. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Empire Energy, Alex Underwood. Hi Alex. G'day, Matt. Okay, so Empire Energy is an oil and gas producer generating cash from its US oil fields, but with an eye to a bigger prize as the company explores the largest land package in the onshore Beetaloo Basin in Northern Territory. 2021 was a big year for Empire that recently resulted in a massive upgrade to its existing gas resources in the Beetaloo. Okay, Alex, can you give me a high-level overview of the major exploration works last year that led to the recent significant resource upgrade? Certainly, Matt. So following initial exploration success in EP187 involving seismic acquisition and a vertical well, we had the confidence last year to go out and acquire additional seismic data and drill our first horizontal well, Carpentaria 2H, which proved not only a broad continuity of the gas-bearing shales across the block, but also an increase in the prospective area. Okay, so what is your resource in the Beetaloo now and how much did you increase it by in that latest upgrade? Yeah, so we recently announced major upgrades in our 2C and 3C contingent, i.e. discovered resources. Our 2C contingent resource increased by 866% from 41 BCF of gas to 396 BCF of gas. Our 3C resource increased by 1,400% from 86 BCF of gas to 1,292 BCF of gas. And our overall prospective resources have increased to 43 trillion cubic feet of gas recoverable. For the uninitiated, how do we put that 43 TCF prospective resource into some kind of context? So, for instance, how big is the resource at massive projects like the Northwest Shelf, for example? So, the Northwest Shelf is one of the largest gas fields in Australia and it's one of the most prolific producers of LNG in history. That's a field which was developed on the back of 33 TCF of gas, of which around a third has been produced to date. So, these are truly world scale. Now, I understand the federal government, curiously, is co-funding your Beetaloo Basin exploration to the tune of millions. How much is the government putting in and why? So the government recognises there are major shortfalls forecast on Australia's east coast for gas supply and they are supporting the emerging basins including the Beetaloo. We have successfully applied for grant funding which will offset part of our drilling costs to the tune of $19.4 million and we're delighted that the government has the foresight to recognise the nation building activity that we're carrying out with this exciting project. Alex Underwood from Empire Energy, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today and remember we're only here to give you information not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB and 3AW websites and click the Public Companies tab.